Hey, what's going on, tech fans? You're watching Jay's Two Cents. I am Jay. If we've never met before, that's who I am, and you are you. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what today's topic is. And that is the EK Coolstream PE Triple Radiator. You guys asked me for some more water cooling reviews, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna give it, you guessed it, the old Jay's Two Cents. You gotta do it with the fist. If it doesn't have the fist, it's not Jay's Two Cents, it's just your Two Cents. The fist makes it J's. Yeah. Now, one of the things I've said in previous EK videos is that I love their packaging. Like they've got so much color and stuff going on. And if you like to play with the boxes and the packages and stuff, then you're certainly going to like this. Now it's. I can't get it out of the sleeving. It doesn't want to come out. Ah, it would actually help if you open the box. But anyway, when you take it out of the sleeve, then it just turns into a boring white box. And then all the fun is gone. Then until you open it up, where in this case, we're gonna find that brand new cool stream radiator. Now to make sure that you don't lose any of the contents in there, they've got a Ziploc baggie with all the screws on there, which include pass-through screws for mounting your fans, as well as short screws for mounting it to your case. And they're taped right on there so you don't lose it. And inside the fancy bubble wrapping here, which, you know, you've gotta pop it. So I'm really, pop! Okay, so once you realize that you really suck at popping bubble wrap, you can go ahead and take the radiator out of the packaging and you'll see that you have a very minimalistic design here, which is exactly what they were going for with this radiator. It's very square. Um, it actually has aluminum plating on here to give it this nice uh, appeal and this nice look to it. It has brass end tanks and 90% copper core on here as well as copper fins. So you have a nice mixture here of metals that give it, uh, you know, the aluminum doesn't touch the water, so you don't have to worry about any of the corrosion issues that come along with aluminum. But you do have uh, brass and copper on here which are very good conductors of heat and gives you very good heat dissipation. Now, one of the things that they do also offer here is what they call their double stacked fin design. Basically what it is, it's a split fin. They're not the first company to offer this, but there are not very many companies out there that are offering this, where instead of having a single piece of metal that zigzags all the way across between the different rows of the core, you have two sets that are basically opposing where their points touch, which gives you a massive surface area but also very low hydraulic retention, which they call it, where you don't need super high static pressure fans or high speed fans to push air through this. In fact, if I just breathe right now, I can feel my breath. It's kind of gross, actually. I can feel the air on the other side, just barely blowing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is I'm just gonna show you some of the other features of this radiator and then I'm gonna put fans on here and I'm put some paper on the other side. They're 100, no 100, God, that'd be incredibly slow fans. They're 1000 RPM fans that I'm gonna hook up on the fan controller and we're gonna see at what RPM do we start to see the paper move on this so you can see whether or not this split fin or this stacked fin design is really all it's cracked up to be. Now they do advertise that this radiator is only for 120 millimeter fans, so I don't think they have a 140 version as of yet. This is the triple, as I mentioned, one, two, three fans on there. You've got your, uh, you know, your fittings here that are mounted through this really nice looking uh, nickel plated threading. Basically, I know it's kind of a, a nipple. We'll just say it's a nipple. But other than that, it's very minimalistic and it looks very, very good, which is exactly what they're going for with this radiator design. It says right on their website that this is, this is intended for a minimalistic yet stylish look. So the powder coating on here is really, really good. It's very satiny dust. It's kind of a dusted finish. Uh, unfortunately, it picks up like dirt and things really easy. So you'd uh, kind of not want to handle it a whole lot when you put it in your build and then you know wipe it clean when you're done. It looks like uh, when I look at the screws on here, the screw holes might slightly just barely line up with the edge of the radiator rows on here, which I would have liked them to have maybe made it so that it didn't even have a chance of protruding into the tube if you accidentally screw down in there too far. But you do have uh, at least a quarter inch before you get there. So if you've mismeasured the screws by that far, 
Uh, if you're not using their included screws, then you really did it wrong. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. So, but I mean, as you can see, we can we can kind of see through there, not too bad. And considering the amount of fins that are actually on this thing, uh, it's actually quite impressive. Um, one thing that they also do advertise is the fact that uh, this is apparently best in class for 40 millimeter thick radiators. So it is a 40 millimeter thick uh, rat. So enough talking about this. Let's just go ahead and put some fans on here and see how this thing performs at low RPM fans, uh, which in inevitably means that you can have a very silent system without sacrificing any performance of your radiator. All right, so for this air test, here are the parts that we're using. I'm using three of my Phobia NB uh, E-Loops. These are the noise blocker fans. They are 1000 RPM fans. Of course, we've got the radiator that we're talking about because it would just be dumb to do a review about one radiator and then do it about another. So obviously we're looking at the Coolstream PE here still from EK. And I've got three pieces of paper that are taped on here. And as you can see, they're just sort of dangling on there. See, woo, just so you guys can see there's no shenanigans. They are completely just dangling there. Now, you guys may be saying, well, why are they kind of off to the side slightly? Well, I didn't put them in the very center of the fan because we all know the center of the fan is sort of the dead zone. So I've got them slightly off to the side so that the air coming through the radiator is hitting directly on the piece of paper. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and flip this a little bit sideways so you guys could see the paper. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and flip on my fan controller here so you guys can see just how much air is actually coming through this radiator without it making any sound. This thing is completely silent. Okay, so just one last little thing I'm gonna do just for fun is I've got this little piece of paper here that I've set in front of the radiator. So as you guys can see, how f the fact that this thing is truly moving air for quite a ways in front of it. So check it out. Yeah, it's moving that much air, guys, at 1,000 RPM through this radiator. So that's pretty damn awesome. Now, I can only assume that the cooling of it's going to be just as good. So, guys, this has been the EK LC Solution Coolstream PE. I don't really know what the PE stands for. You're going to have to go look that one up. The link to the product is down in the description. Make sure you guys go and check them out and give uh, EK a big thank you for sending me this to check out for you guys. So if you're looking for a radiator, make sure you go and check that out. I think it blew all the way off the table. Yes, it did. Guys, this thing moves a ton of air considering the fact that it's high density. It's got high fin density on there. So good job, EK, on that one. I've just got to say keeps the noise down, you can lo use low speed fans, which means less dust, less noise, and it's a win-win all around. So guys, it's been Jay's Two Cents here taking a look at this EK radiator. You know where to go, head on over to Twitter, give me a follow if you wanna chat and talk some tech, and head on over to the website because that's just a pretty awesome place to be. So I'm gonna get out of here guys, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.